Greetings fellow stargazers and astrophotographers, I'm Sean Nielsen and in this video tutorial we're going to look at multi-scale linear transform noise reduction. Um, I have open here right now uh, an image of M31 I took an RGB stack and um, I haven't done anything to it, it is linear um, as we can see, take the screen stretch off, screen stretch back on. The only thing that's been done to it is uh, a DVE background extraction. Um, so I'm not going to get into the technical details of noise reduction or how they or how it applies to the multi-scale linear transform. Um, I wanted to keep this tutorial a, a quick and easy uh, look at uh, uh, noise reduction for your images. Um, so let's get started. Multi-scale linear transform tool can be found under process multi-scale processing, and multi-scale linear transform. First thing that we want to do is, uh, we're, well, we're going to have a look at the image here and we can see the noise is actually fairly uh, low in the uh, core of the galaxy and moving out uh, into the arms. Um, as we move over a bit more, we can start to see some of the, the noise that uh, is there, but actually it isn't that bad. It's uh, I've, I've seen worse, definitely, but uh, this isn't that bad. But we're going to do some noise reduction anyway. So what we want to do is create a preview. So we go up to the uh, new preview mode uh, button there, and we uh, are going to make a preview window. Now the preview window I usually like to have a little bit of the galaxy, just so I can see what's going on as the noise reduction heads towards the uh, target object itself. Uh, but more so the background, because um, that is where the noise is and that's what we want to fix. Um, one thing that we're going to do first, which uh, you'll find really awesome, it's really simple, makes things a breeze. And uh, I must point out that this technique of noise reduction was introduced to me by Dr. Ron Breacher, a good friend and fellow astrophotographer. Um, the settings that we're using here were provided by him and um, they actually work quite well. It's easy to input the value, simply select the layer and then adjust the slider for the amount of noise reduction that you want. The first thing that uh, we have to do is create a linear mask and we can do that using the linear mask uh, within the multi-scale linear transform tool. Um, you want to make sure that you turn off your screen stretch for this. Um, we don't want that active in order to be able to preview the uh, linear mask that we're going to create. And the linear mask is going to protect the galaxy and the, the galaxy fine details uh, and, and protect the stars, which is really important to do when we're, we're applying noise reduction. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, hit our real-time preview. What we have selected is the linear mask is selected and preview mask is selected and we have it inverted. Amplification is set at 100. The more you amplify, the more protection you're going to get. Now you have to look at the previews in order to ascertain just uh, how much uh, protection you're going to want. This actually, 100 to 200 is usually fairly typical, but there are situations I've encountered where it could be less than 100. Um, and you have to play with that slider a bit and get that uh, fine-tuned. This actually isn't so bad. We could actually bump that up. Um, I take that up to 200 and it's going to redo the preview for me. I could probably get a little more protection um, in the arms of the galaxy here, the outer edges. And it'll update in a second. It's coming. There it is there. And we can see the difference. So the core is very much protected and we've got more of the outer part of the galaxy protected now. That's a great mask. Looks fantastic. Let's use it. So we're going to turn off the preview. Or we're going to close the preview screen. Anyways, preview window. And we're going to turn off the preview mask. So we uncheck it. Preview mask is still here. Still going to work. Still going to apply. But we've just simply turned off the preview of it. Let's turn on our screen transfer function again so we can see what we're looking at. We're going to go to the preview window and we'll just move over here a bit and we can see the background noise and we've got this set uh, in four, four layers. Um, you'll find that layer one and two have the most noise. There'll be some noise a lot of times but not all the time in, in the third 
layer, but most of your noise is going to happen in one or two. We also have it set to target to RGBK components, um, and this is going to work great. You're going to love this. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to apply it to the preview. And Pixel Sight will do its thing. Uh, this might, depending on your uh, computer, um, how powerful it is, it uh, might take a minute or two. Uh, might take less. And there we have it. And we've got our multi-scale linear transform window open here again. And with the noise reduction applied, you can easily preview that with Control Shift. Hold that Control Shift and Z or Z, depending where you're from. You can see the before and after, before, after. It works really well. It's very simple to do. And we can apply that to the image at this point. And you'll have a beautifully noise reduced image that you can start stretching. Hope this was helpful. Any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.